The Pentagon says they're not implementing it because they don't have a policy. That's what I think it's designed to do, right? I think, that's what, I, I think that's what it was. I mean, he wanted to shift the conversation. And 10-minute gap, transgender people in the military. They went and interviewed a bunch of people in the Pentagon, and a bunch of the people in the Pentagon were like, during that 10-minute gap, I didn't know whether we were going to nuclear war or what, right? <laughs> but it, it, this, again, is evidence, of, you know, I think it's an example of, even if I think the policy is good, good policy done the wrong way is actually counterproductive for the policies that I want to see done. Like, I want it laid out by Mattis. I want it laid out by Defense Department. I want all the reasons laid out so we can have a good discussion over it. I don't really want just, like, thought vomit on Twitter. That's just not, I don't think it's effective. Again, be, be, be your authentic self. But it is no longer about your freedom to be your authentic self when you're talking about either legislation that impacts how I run my business or how I raise my child. It's not my job to humor their authentic self. I mean, I'm, I'm pro-drug legalization, but I've never done drugs, and I think that drugs are stupid. You know, don't tell me that I have to, like, cheer when somebody smokes a joint. Like, do what you want, but don't tell me that I have to redefine what I think is good and bad behavior. Like, that's silly. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. And uh, the other thing that it became this weird political hot point where we were talking about bathrooms. Yeah. And then it became, like, the number one topic. Because it was easy for people to sort of... Yeah, where does this go?